Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022, and I'm joined by Her Excellency, Mrs. Dina Fares, who is Acting Director um, General in the Department of Digital in the Emirate of Ajman. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. And you're here to participate in the uh, country workshop, speaking yes. about a really interesting concept, which I think is called the concept of total experience. Yes. So tell us about that. So. Um, we are coming from the Department of Digital Ajman. Uh, Digital Ajman is the entity that is uh, behind the digital transformation plan of the Emirate of Ajman, along with all local and federal entities. We started our journey in 2017 to digitalize services, where it was taken from its as-is uh, process to an electronic form. Um, and at that point of time, we were really busy building the infrastructure, digital infrastructure that will help the government entities to have a smooth uh, transition from the, the traditional uh, mm -hmm. way of providing services to the uh, digital form. Uh, we reached in 2021 to 98% of digitalization, which is a very high percent, but still we didn't see the impact on the society happiness. Uh, and it didn't meet our aspirations. The wider society. Yes. yes. So we started yeah. to, to, to search around. What is missing? Mm. What, what is this that we are doing that we need to do better to reach to a high customer satisfaction and happiness? Since it's one of the, our main goals uh, in the Department of Digital Ajman, the society happiness to keep it at the core of our digital ecosystem. And providing, I suppose, an equitable access exactly. as well, which of course is one of the yes. sustainable development yes, goals. Yes, exactly. Mm. So we started to read around and search and we found we came across a concept of total experience. But actually, it, it was a very a promising approach that by engaging the, your customers and your employees and putting them at the heart of designing government services, uh, this gets the buy-in of both customers and your employees. Because we've seen also that employees' experience should not be isolated from the customer experience. You should look at this 360 view. And the customers, of course, being exactly. the people. Yeah. <laughs> the and, and, and we've seen that this is a very good approach that we need to take both perspectives and the stakeholders as well and the users of the services into consideration when designing government services. But there was no way on how to do that. The concept was there. There was a lot of strategic assumptions made by, um, for example, Gartner, that 80% uh, plus of governments that will adopt total experience uh, will reach customer satisfaction and employee satisfaction, but there was no guide on how to do that. Mm. So we first started by building a framework around the concept. Uh, we designed, um, and our, our framework was, was mainly three components. It is about the tools and the guidelines and the human capital, the human aspect part, because mm. the human aspect, those are the people who will deliver this message. So we need to make sure that they are trained, they have this mindset in head. So when they do the actual uh, service uh, design, uh, they adopt the total uh, experience framework. And we started to apply it on one of our uh, customer journeys in Ajman, and the results came amazing. Service ambiguity was dropped by um, 78%, the touch points, the customer moving to many points when they when they avail the service came down uh, by around 67%. And the overall satisfaction of the customers as well as the employees who are giving the service increased by 38%. In addition to that, a lot of savings has been made on the number of papers being used and uh, uh, the time that has been spent that is spent for the service. So we started to take this framework and apply it on all government services. And was this was this being done before COVID? It was done uh, during COVID, let's mm. say, and it continued with us till today. And mm. it's an approach that we are further uh, using and applying uh, throughout the old government entities. Um, we've managed to, uh, to choose specific number of employees that we trained them. They were chosen based on a set of preset skills to make sure that uh, we equipped them and we equipped them with the right knowledge. And then those uh, specialists were injected back uh, in the government entities uh, to foster the culture of total experience and lead the change. Mm. 
Your Excellency, that's so interesting to hear about. Thank you very Thank you. much indeed for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you.